SPUFalcons.com here with uh, four men's basketball players. We're going to talk a little bit about the holidays. Uh, first, I want to tell us your name and where you'll be for Christmas. Uh, I'm Gabe Colosimo. I'm a freshman and I'll be in my home state, uh, Sandy, Utah, for Christmas. I'm Olivia Paul Beto and I'll be in Vancouver. I'm Bryce Levitt. I'll be back in the Tri Cities, back in Kennewick. And I'm Nathan Stryford, and I'll be back in the Tri Cities in Richland. Great, we'll start here with Nathan. Uh, Nathan, is there a, a memorable Christmas gift that uh, stands out to you every time? The most memorable Christmas gift I ever got when I was a little kid was probably Game Boy Advance SP. Very nice. Uh, when I was like eight, eight years old, I got a trampoline. Most excited I've ever been. Very nice. Uh, when I was eight, I got my first Kobe jersey, so that was pretty exciting. Still a Kobe fan? Still a Kobe fan. Nice. <laughs> Um, I don't remember what age, but I got a basketball hoop, and I remember playing on that thing for the whole day and the whole like month after. I was just crazy about it. Very nice. Well, we heard uh, your favorite gift now. Uh, let's uh, ask, what, uh, what are you hoping to find in your stocking? What Christmas gift are you looking forward to getting this year? Um, I don't know. I didn't really give a lot of items to my family, but I'm just hoping that they'll kind of pull something out. Mostly just clothes, though, I guess. So. Are you uh, hard to shop for, do you think? Or? Um, I can be, I don't know. I'm not, I can be picky at times and other times I'm not, so it just depends. Nice, all right, Louis. Well, uh, I'm not too sure, but hopefully I get tickets to the new Star Wars movie, because I'm really looking forward to, look to watch it, so hopefully I get those tickets. Great, and I assume you haven't seen that already. No, yet. I haven't seen that. <laughs> and you haven't heard any spoilers yet? Uh, almost, but I told him to just be quiet, because I wanted <laughs> to see you on my own. Very good. Have you seen all the others? Yeah. Very nice. Bryce. Uh, I'm just hoping to get some really nice memory foam for my bed. I'm getting old, you know, I'm the old man <laughs> now, and no more toys. I just need to, I need to take care of this whole body, so some memory foam. You know you're getting old when you start asking yeah, gifts like that. Know. Very nice. Practical yeah, gifts. Practical. Excellent. Well, this year is probably um, asking for some necessities, and I don't need a new phone charger this year. Very nice, there we go. Is there a Christmas that stands out or with your family or one that is more memorable than any others to you? Um, I think it's been the same every year, kind of like a tradition. My, my grandparents come over um, Christmas Day and we, uh, we have good food and uh, just have a good time. Okay, fantastic. Uh, it's pretty much similar to Nate's. Um, every single Christmas we just uh, open gifts at my house as a family and then we go over to my grandparents where all the rest of my family meets up and so all the Christmases are pretty similar but I mean anytime especially now being in college like getting to go home and spend time with the family they're all they're all special they're all good so that's what that's what mine is. Olivia. The same for me it's pretty much been the same just eat with family watch the games on TV and just have a good time that was that's what we do. Uh, pretty similar answer for me as well. Just any time you're with your family, it's, it's special. And I think um, my sisters, whenever I was younger, whenever they'd come home for Christmas, being at college and being older, I always cherished those times because they weren't home for long and I was usually an only child and they were at, uh, when they were at school. So any time I could just be with the whole family, I enjoyed it. Great. Well, when people are kids, they're anxious to get up real early and uh, check their stockings or whatever, anxious to open the gifts. Are you still that way or do you, are you a sleep-in guy now? Um, when I was younger, I was definitely, you know, I was one of the first ones to wake up. Um, we have a tradition where we film uh, uh, me and my sisters walking down the stairs. And so that was kind of like a big excitement for us. But now it's just kind of whenever we all wake up, we'll go downstairs and see what Santa brought us. Very nice. Olivier, early riser on Christmas still, or are you a sleeping uh, guy? I'm, I'm a sleeping just like <laughs> a lot of a lot of workouts, so I'm definitely gonna sleep in. But I used to be definitely the first one to wake up, but now I'm definitely just resting. Great, right? Uh, yeah, I'll be sleeping in too. How especially with college, like with the basketball schedule, you get back, get five or six days, sleep a lot. So but when I was a little kid, I used to set my alarm. And as a little kid, I used to set my alarm for like 6 a.m. And so that was that was me back then, but now I get some sleep. Great, Nate. I'll probably be up early. My twin brother and I have a tradition. We get up super early and go lay on the couch and wait for our parents to get up. So I'll probably keep that going this year. Very nice. Good stuff. And what's your uh, twin brother doing now? Um, he's, uh, he's studying mechanical engineering at WSU Tri-Cities, and he has a job at the Hanford Nuclear Site. Great, fantastic. Well, last question, uh, not necessarily holiday related, but today is your last practice, 
and uh, after that you'll get to go home. What's the first thing you're going to do? Is there some restaurant you like to eat at, or what's the first thing you do when you get home? Well, uh, I'll probably it'll be Sunday morning. I'll probably go to church and then go to the JD Diner. Have a good breakfast there. Very nice, JD Diner. Uh, first thing I do when I get home, I'll probably go visit my grandparents, visit some of my friends tonight, and first place I'm going to eat at will probably be the taco truck. Very nice. All right, look at this. Well, for me, home is actually Montreal, but uh, I'll be in Vancouver and I have a few friends there, so we'll probably just go to dinner and then eat, and probably go come back and just relax. Have you uh, spent a lot of time in Vancouver? Are you familiar with the city? Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with Vancouver. It's a, it's a nice city. It's pretty similar to, to Montreal, so hopefully it'll be good this time. Fantastic. Gabe, uh, when you get home, is there a place you want to eat or what's the uh, first thing you want to do when you get home? Um, well, my sister, she drives back from the Vegas Bowl. She works for Utah Football, so I'll probably be going to Starbucks to get some coffee because she's driving back late, so we'll probably stay up and wait for her. Um, first place I'm probably going to eat is, I'd say, Cafe Rio. It's a family favorite of ours in uh, Utah. Great. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate your time. And uh, maybe if you just want to wish uh, Falcon fans a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.